Welcome to another episode from Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about upgrading Proxmox from version 6 to version 7 and what you will need to do to have that happen. As a note, during this update process, I would highly suggest if you have critical operations running on your server that you move them and back them up onto another server so that you do not experience any problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two commands that we are going to use today to upgrade Proxmox from version 6 to version 7. The two commands here displayed on the screen will be what you need to execute in order to update your Proxmox version 6 server to Proxmox version 7. I will be copying and pasting these commands today. I don't want to get them wrong. So now here, at our Proxmox web interface, we're going to select the server. In most default configurations, this server will be named PVE, but as mine and yours may not be a default configuration. This is where you should see your server under Data Center. Highlight it, and you'll get this row of icons at the top of your screen here. We just want to select Shell. Now, we're going to execute the first command. Which adds the repository to Proxmox that we will need to update to the newest version of Proxmox, version 7. Now, we're going to update the repositories and then commit a distribution upgrade. Now, the documentation provided on the Proxmox website says this can take up to 60 minutes for a slower platter drive or as short as a few minutes. So this may be a good time to go get your coffee and sit back and let your system do its thing. There will be a few screens asking you questions as this process takes effect. So you want to go ahead and monitor your system from time to time to get the most efficient update. I pressed enter at the screen to continue. I would like to keep my current configuration. So I'm going to select the default option of capital N here. I'm going to select yes. No is the default option, but it'll cause services not to automatically restart. We will be doing a restart of our server at the end of this, but I like the idea of the services restarting. So I'm going to press the over key, select yes, and press enter. Note that this option could, in some cases, cause conflicts with things running. I have already run this on an identical server and I do not believe that I will have that problem. So I'm selecting yes. Choose your options wisely. So at this screen, I'm going to select OK by pressing tab and then enter. 
I do not want to change the home directory, so I'm going to press the over arrow to no and then enter again. I'm going to choose to keep the local version that is currently installed in this case. So I can press tab to select OK and enter. So Proxmox has detected that there are modifications with the source file. I want to continue to use the source file that I currently have. We will need to do more modifications for the no subscription for version 7, but as of right now, I do not want to make changes to this file. So I'm choosing the default option of no. Okay, so Proxmox has finished doing its update. Now we can go ahead and refresh our console and we see that we are now using version 7. Now one step that I would suggest at the end of this, although it is not necessary because we chose to restart services as we installed them, would be to enter the command reboot and press enter. This will reboot your server and bring it all back up after your fresh install. I am not going to do this as part of the video just for time reasons, but I suggest that you do unless you have critical operations running on this server and cannot do that. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video and found it informative about updating Proxmox from version 6 to version 7. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Have a good night.